We did not do anything for Kikaka at this time. Kikaka, the system has not performed as expected. The amount of customers that we expected have not materialized. And therefore, the amount of consumption that we expected has not materialized also. If we apply what we approve in the FTRP and would make adjustments, it would suggest that we would need to increase the rates in Kikaka by 60%. We believe this would be a barrier to getting even more customers and would actually force people to lower their consumption. And so the commission decided to treat Kikaka differently. We, we basically accept that it's in a transitional period right now. And until we get a fair understanding of what the long-term prospects for that branch is, we believe we shouldn't touch the rates for fair that we might make it even more difficult for that branch to become sustainable. We had an issue that we visited in this ARP, but we were not in a position to make any decision on it. But certainly, it is something that we intend to address in the next annual review proceeding. And we will ensure that BWS provides us with the necessary information that we need in order to make such determination. And that is making a separation between water-only services in San Pedro and water and sewer services. Traditionally, Everyone in San Pedro has paid a similar rate, regardless of whether they have sewer service or not. However, the water system is now expanding beyond the sewage system. And we don't expect the sewage system to catch up anytime soon. So very shortly, we will be forced to introduce separate rates for people who get water only in San Pedro.